Hey everybody, gonna do a little uh, squirt class out here. We've got a, the best seam on the Green River right here and I got the mullet happening. And uh, what we're gonna do is basics on a stern squirt. So you're gonna come out of the eddy up here and right as you're passing over the eddy line, you're gonna drop your upstream edge just a little. This is the biggest mistake people make is they drop it a bunch. The more angle you put on the boat, the more effort you gotta put in. All you need on a nice eddy line is just a little bit of edge, and then you'll see a stern squirt. You'll see a stern pry or back sweep to push the stern under the water, and that'll elevate me and let the current do the work and the eddy line do the work. You'll also notice that my head will be tilted over to the right to compensate for me dropping my upstream edge. If you know you're, if you're dropping your upstream edge, you're gonna flip over. It's kind of part of the deal here as you're learning this. But as you add less and less edge and you get it to just barely slice under that current, you'll start to get it to elevate. Time that slicing under the current with your back sweep and you'll start to get her up in the air. Check it out. All right, let's take a little closer look at this. Give yourself a little bit of momentum so you'll cross the eddy line, no problem. And then right here, reach back for a back sweep to really push that stern underwater. You can see I've got a little bit of a lean upstream in the boat, but my body is leaning downstream to the right to maintain control. As the boat slices underwater, I'll actually start to sit up to maintain control of that blade or wing that's flying under the water. So now I'm kind of sitting straight up I've got one blade in the water to help me with my balance, and then I can hold it there or even spin it around. That's a stern squirt. Now the whole thing full speed. Ooh. I like it when the first take goes like that.